right, a little girl dressed up as Dolly Parton, voluptuous bosom and bottom and all, uh, featured on the popular reality TV show Toddlers and Tiaras, is now the centerpiece of a custody battle that could get ugly. In an episode last year, Lindsay Jackson dressed her daughter, Maddie Verst, who is now six, in this costume, the one you're about to see. When she wears the fake boobs and the fake butt, it's just like a, it's an added, you know, extra bonus. And it's really funny when she comes out on stage and everybody thinks it's hysterical. Oh, boy, but the dad is not laughing. In fact, um, that episode sparked so much controversy that People Magazine featured Maddie on the cover last year with a headline asking, gone too far? Well, Jackson's estranged husband, uh, Bill Verse, father of little Maddie, does think so, that they've gone too far. He's now fighting for full custody of Maddie. Our legal guys are back. Avery Friedman in Cleveland and Richard Herman in Los Angeles. All right, gentlemen, so Avery, you first. You know, is the video on this uh, television show enough to help the dad substantiate his claim that his daughter is being sexually exploited? Yeah. I think the mother's psychotic, Fred. She's a psycho freak. I think the producers, the directors, and any of the parents so that special. are involved in these shows like Toddlers and Tejeras should all be prosecuted for child abuse. You want to go after people playing Texas Hold'em? Why don't you go after these animals that are destroying these young children? What's the long-term effect of this behavior on these kids? This is child abuse, Fred. You can't take a four-year-old and try to dress her up as a sexy older woman, put fake fake boobs on her and buttocks. This woman thinks it's funny. It's atrocious and it's horrible. And if the husband didn't have the felony conviction, he absolutely would gain, would gain custody here. They don't deserve yeah, to have custody felon. of this child. But it's, right, DU, and it's DUI. I mean, it. It, with their, there was the child endangerment. Is it um, alleged or was it substantiated that the child was in the car when he had the DUI? Are they connected? Yeah. And if well, so or if not, I, would I'm that matter? Why not? on it. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't matter. He was convicted of it. The other thing, you know what, I, I don't know that I would call them animals, but I'm actually in agreement. I think this, what these parents have done and let what happened to Maddie happen is mm -hmm. something that I think children's services should look, look into. I don't know if these, uh, these social workers are on propofol or something, but somebody's got to look <laughs> into this. This is serious stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay, meantime, disgusting. the judge did place a gag order on uh, Lindsay Jackson, the mother, uh, and also impose a ban on any more pageant activity for Maddie and the Good. mother until the duration of the trial. They have to shut it's all these pageants down, right. Fred. They oh. have to shut them all down. Absolutely okay. right. I, I'm in total agreement. Okay, let's move shut on to another down. case. This one in Maryland, and uh, this involves a man who went to a, a Maryland, you know, shooting range, and they had this ladies' day, so the women get a break, just like yep. you know, ladies' night. You know, go to a bar or a lounge, and ladies come in free. Etc. Well, this Maryland uh, gun range is now being sued uh, by this one patron who says, you know, it's discrimination. Derek Hunter had this to say about his suit. Just because I'm a man doesn't mean that, you know, I should have to pay more. Two ladies came up behind me. He told them they were free. So I asked them, I said, well, why did I have to pay to use the range? And they didn't. Okay, he paid $15. They didn't. He's up in arms. Over it, gentlemen. Uh, Richard, <laughs> Richard, you first. He says he's suing for two hundred. You know where this is going, Frederica. <laughs> you know where this is going. <laughs> no, I Go don't. Ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> all right, Richard, you get to weigh in first. Well, first of all, you know he's shooting blanks here, Fred, because his lawsuit is going absolutely nowhere. He gets no 14th Amendment protection here. This is a private gun club. The law is crystal clear Our in issue. this area. He will, have, he will have no girlfriends. It's only $15, <laughs> Fred. That's all it was. None of the women are going to like him at this club. And uh, it's $15. You know, come on. They're doing a promotion. It's a private club. I've gone to some of these nope. gun clubs. I've hardly seen any women there. So, you know, if they want to try nope. to generate business mm -hmm. in this environment, why not? It's not a problem here. This huh. guy better get a grip. Okay, well, in response to this lawsuit, the Maryland Small Arms Range said this. Um, Carl Roy, the president of uh, this range, said this, quote, I think a business has a right to do what it wants to. A business should be able to conduct its affairs without government micromanaging. So we'll That's see. Right. Whether this case Fred, indeed has merit. 
WWHD. I'm in LA. I got my Harvey Specter hair going here. Listen, Fred, <laughs> what would Harvey do here? It's federal law that controls this world? issue. It's a private <laughs> suits. Come on, you watch suits, okay. Amy. Listen, it's, it's a, a statute. Private club. It's a statute. If Annapolis it doesn't wants matter. To change it's it, a right. they can change it. Club. Uh -uh. It's they covered can do by it. law. All right. Well, I'm sure there will no, be a follow-up that we get to talk about at another time. Absolutely. Right now, we're out of time. All right, Richard, Avery, okay. you both look great. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good to Thank see you. you. <laughs> great to All right, and the here. legal guys are here every Saturday. Thank goodness, because they're always so dynamic. At this time, to give us their take on the most intriguing legal cases of the day, or week, or month.